Some YSU students have some reservations if the strikes do continue past Wednesday, but other students are supporting the faculty and we're out here on the picket lines as well. And I took the time today to speak with them, get their reaction to the situation and why they felt they needed to be out here. Honking, Mayhem. chanting, and marching. These were the sights and sounds on Monday for the first day of Youngstown State Faculty Union's strike. And along the picket line here, you can see signs that say YSU OEA for a fair contract and supporting YSU faculty as they await to hear if a tentative agreement can be made. Among the faculty, there were supporters, some of them students. And we really, really care about them, and it's been like that since day one. Junior physics major Ginny Phillips says she wanted to be out there because for her, the entire physics department has been like one big family. And she wants to see her professors get what she believes they deserve. They are mentors, they are extremely educated, and they are really good people. Theodore Bucci is a senior who is also in the physics department. He says he wants to see the administration at YSU value the educators over everything else. I care about whether or not the long-standing implications of this particular negotiation process has a positive impact. For now, classes haven't been impacted because the students are on fall break. There are concerns, however, if a tentative agreement can't be reached. And if the strike spills into Wednesday when classes resume, we are working on a plan that we will have in place. Sophomore forensic science major Abby Sharpless says she struggles in chemistry. And if the strike were to extend when students return from fall break, she may have a substitute. But even though that situation isn't ideal, she says she still needs to be out there, sign in hand alongside the faculty. They support us and they believe in us and they know that we can do great things. And a lot of the people in the administration building probably wouldn't be where they are if they didn't have a teacher that fought for them, even though it like ate up some of their personal life. Now, the YSU OEA spokesperson, Mark Vopat, spoke to me this morning. He wants students to, to know that they should not be worried and that the, the faculty does not want to let what is going on right now to affect their standing here at YSU. For now, live in downtown Youngstown, Carolyn Sistrand, WKBN 27 First News.